Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bodina and I'm the co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife who's behind the camera. Um, today I'm talking Kun shoulder rests and there's a few of them I've got to say and I'm only showing some of them so you know there's a lot. So first of all um, the Kun collapsible shoulder rest, this guy is really cool because its feet collapse inward so it's easier to fit into the case. I really like this one. This is our most popular of the Kun shoulder rests. It fits easily on the violin. Um, and then once it's on, it has this swivel situation. So it can sort of, you know, form, fit more to the contour of your shoulder. I like it sort of pushed in the way I have it there. That looks, looks and feels great. I feel like I'm sleeping on a bed of nails. Not nails, but I feel really good. It feels good like that. So that is the Kun Collapsible. And then we have this guy down here called the Kun Solo. Now this was designed to be a little bit taller for humans with longer net, necks on them. It, it does collapse as well, which is nice. So it fits more easily into the case. It has a different adjusting option. So with this one, it has these little tabs that you lift up and you can move the feet along. It can be a good shoulder rest for teachers who have students who forget their shoulder rests. So you can adjust it for lots of different students and that sort of thing. Um, the things that I like more about the standard Kun Collapsible over the Solo is what I mentioned before about how the standard Kun, um, it tilts inward, where the Solo doesn't tilt inward and it's not quite as comfortable for me for that reason. Although the, the Kun Solo has these little sort of slits here, the plan behind those is that it's supposed to improve the sound. I can't necessarily hear the difference in that way. It might be, you know, so small that these ears don't, don't do it justice, um, but it also reduce the weight as well, which I think is cool. Oh, and it improves the grip, apparently. And I think it is quite a grippy shoulder rest. I am gripping it, so that is good. Yeah, so um, the other thing about the Kun Solo one, it is a little bit flatter than the standard Kun, and some people find it more comfortable, where maybe I would say more of the students that we get in prefer, prefer the feel and the, the shape of the standard Kun. Okay, so there's those two guys. I'll chuck them down next to each other. You guys stay there. Um, then we have uh, the same thing in smaller sizes. So the, the half to three quarter size version of the Kun, this guy, which I'm going to pull out of his packet, is pretty much exactly the same as the full size one. And you may be thinking, why is he telling me this? Why is he telling me this? And the reason I'm telling you that is because the neck size down is very different. So I'll plonk on this half to three quarter size shoulder rest on this half to three quarter size violin, exactly the same curvature and it tilts like that and is a very, very comfortable shoulder rest for half and three quarter size violins. Right, well the 16th to quarter size one, I've got it on an eighth size violin down here. It's, it's quite different. Comes in different colors, which is sort of cool. Um, the thing I don't like about it as much as the other, the half to three quarter and the full size models is it doesn't do the tilty tilty. And so it sort of feels like it's leaning back slightly. And a lot of little kids don't have very broad shoulders. And so they need something that tilts down like that. See how, even though I've got this flat on my shoulder, it has a gap under here and it's not great for a lot of kids. So I'm much more in favor of that half to three quarter one. And in fact, I'm often even fitting that half to three quarter one on some quarter size violins. There's a lot of quarter size violins that are broad enough that they can still use that bigger sized one. But they're still a quality shoulder rest. My famous wife has had one of these for about 30 years or so. Not this size, because she's much bigger than this now. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the Kun shoulder rests are great. Next one, in fact, the last one, Kun Bravo. Now I've got it on a viola. 
Um, Kun Bravo is the royal one of these Kun Shoulder S. He even comes with a very royal bag. Da -da -da. Belongs in Harry Potter or something like that. Beautiful. Um, and, and it's made of wood. Now the advantage of, of being made of wood is that there is less flex. And so if you try to put your shoulder rest on fairly strongly, the legs won't flare out as much and it's less likely to come off. So a more stable shoulder rest in that way. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, it is a little bit heavier because it's wood, so maybe that's a downside, but they're still a pretty light shoulder rest. Um, the shape of them, I, I mean, I actually very slightly prefer the standard Kun shoulder rest, those plastic ones as far as the shape of them goes, because it has a little bit more curvature this way than the Kun Bravo, and that just suits my shoulder. Maybe if someone's a bigger, a bigger human, the, um, the shape, the flatter shape will work better. But for me, it doesn't work quite as well, but it is still a comfy shoulder rest. Um, it does still do the tilty tilty, so it tilts in and it tilts out, and that's really important in a shoulder rest. So, I, I mean, I, I think it belongs in its royal status, and I'll put it over here on its royal green mattress. Um, but Kun shoulder rest, I think that's all of them, and they all get a big thumbs up at White Horse Music. If you want some more awesome videos like that awesome video, what are you gonna do? Subscribe, of course. And while you're there, why not give us a like? Uh, you can also follow us on Insta and Facebook through the links in the description down below, down there. You see them? Do it now. Do it. All right, just do it later, that's fine. After the video. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.